comment a little bit on how frustrating it's going to be if you can't get Cotto or Canelo next? I know you won that big fight. Will it be frustrating for you if you cannot get it? I don't know, I think it's something that makes it very good for, for me, not for me, for us. It makes my, like, Sipa de Maya, you know, I think it's perfect for, for us. And special thank you for HBO. I think right now it's possible. Congratulations on your Toronto show. Thank you. Uh, my question for you is, you're coming to the fight with 19 straight knockouts, you got your 20th knockout, and you also had said prior to this fight that you wanted to see if I uh, would my role because of his southpaw style, uh, could give you a different look than you could see in recent fights. Now that you knocked him out for your 20th knockout, can you talk about whether you think he did that, did he give you the look that you wanted? Because it seemed like he might have troubled you a little bit in maybe the third, fourth, fifth rounds briefly. Like, he's a really good fighter. Uh, respect him because he's not scared of his coming to California. He will fight with me. And I don't lose control. No, I know. Really, he is very good moving. You know, the last couple of rounds, he stayed, you know, like, a little bit different situation. Different situation for me, you know. I think he's every time moving. It's very easy for me. He stay with me, front with me. I tell him, okay, right now let's go, let's do it. That's a big, good performance for people, you know, like a big present for people. You know, I respect him, he's not scared. Uh, uh, congratulations, Gennady. Uh, first question over you. What did you learn from this fight? What did you learn from this fight that you, know, you were trying to get out of it? You said you wanted to go around. And what, what are you going to take from this fight that you need know, to use going forward? You know, every fight, big experience for me. You know, every step, every step, experience for me. Right now, I'm really here to set. He's very good. You know, he's maybe he's like something loud. You know, like everybody has problems with set. Like this, this is good to fight for us. Knocked down Lenny Monroe. It looked like the fight was almost over. How surprised were you that he came back from that and rallied back for a couple more rounds? Oh, well, this is good. It's good motivation for me. Yeah, I don't lose control. So I second my down on him. I you know, like, good left hook. I see, I feel him. You know, like, it's very interesting for me. I don't want, like, short fight, like crazy. The official attendance in the form, it was 12,372. Uh, so that makes officially Gennady the combination between tonight's fight and the stub up fight the biggest ticket seller in California in the last two years. So that's a testament to his marketability, his fan base, and a great uh, addition with uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez with his HBO debut. So we really appreciate all of the media support and uh, all the fans coming out. Mr. Golovkin. Hey, Dan Plasma. Do you think that a Floyd Mayweather would fight you? I don't know. I'm ready for anybody. This is my review for you. I'm ready. Thank you very much for everybody and for support, for attention. So I think it's a great event to be you know, like congratulations. Chocolatito is first time debut in HBO, thank you from HBO. You know, welcome to great fights for, for future. Thank you very much for Willie, really, he's a great opponent for me. You know, every step is a good experience for me. Thank you for everybody. Welcome to home, to LA. Thank you. You guys have had a long night tonight, so we're going to wrap it up. I'd like to give a special thanks to Willie and uh, Chocolate Tito and just for everyone coming out. Thank you.